Hello dears. Next we are moving on to organ specific and tissue specific manifestations. Manifestations means the ways in which a disease appears. So a microbe enters our body by different means and it goes to different organs and tissues. Which organ or tissue the microbe infects depend on the way through which the microbe entered. For example, if the microbe is entering through the nose, it is likely to affect the lungs. For example, the bacteria which causes tuberculosis of lungs. Microbes that enter through the mouth are likely to stay in the gut as in the case of typhoid or liver as in jaundice. But this need not be the case always. For example, in AIDS, the virus enters through the sexual organs but spreads through the lymph nodes and damages the immune system. The virus that causes Japanese encephalitis enters the body through the mosquito bite and goes and infects the brain. Signs and symptoms of a disease depends on affected organ or tissue. If lungs are affected, the symptoms might be cough and breathlessness. If liver is the target, jaundice might be the sign. If brain is the target, headaches, vomiting, fits and unconsciousness might follow. But apart from this, there might be common effects too as our immune system is activated in response to the infection. Now let's see what is inflammation. An active immune system recruits many cells to the affected tissue to kill off the disease-causing microbes. This results in inflammation. As a result of inflammation, there will be local effects like swelling and pain and general effects like fever. Sometimes, tissue-specific infections cause general effects. Example, in HIV infection, the virus affects and damages the immune system. So the body cannot fight off the minor infections like cold which might turn into pneumonia. The severity of disease manifestation that is the symptom depends on the number of microbes in the body. If the number of microbes is very small the disease manifestations may be minor. If the number of microbes is large the disease can be severe. Our immune system determines the number of microbes surviving in the body. Next is the principles of treatment or what are the different steps that we follow to treat a particular disease. Treatment may involve two steps. One is to reduce the effects of the disease and the other is to kill the microbe which caused the disease. To reduce the effects of the disease means to reduce the symptoms. It can be done by taking medicines to bring down the symptoms like fever, pain or loose motion and by taking bed rest to conserve our energy. The second is to kill the microbes by taking suitable antibiotics and drugs which kills the microbes and the disease is cured.